We will take you out to that scene. Jen Danzak is there now. Jen Danzak found out. That's where we'll find 20 Little Lives Jen Danzak to give us all the details of the event. I'm here at the Elkhart Police Department off of Marion Street, where two children who were abducted from their home in Fort Wayne were found this evening, but not alive. And this year, it is actually causing a lot more controversy than previous years. The south corner of the building ended up being engulfed in flames. Let's take a look at what is left right now. Just like Dorothy Hamill. Whee! I want to show you what I found while driving around. There is this home that is completely wrecked from this storm. How many kids do you usually see? Oh, gee, probably thousands. Or adults like me, right? And like she said, it's only $30 at the door. You get endless samples of beer, wine from all around here, and hopefully you can even take home a bottle or two. Now that is the biggest in U.S. history. I'm going to get straight to the numbers. That's what everybody has been waiting for. You call this more of a community outreach rather than a neighborhood watch, right? That's definitely a hot topic for sure on our Facebook page, so let's get to some of the comments. All of these reindeer are going to be out here every Saturday from 5 until 7 p.m. It's looking fantastic out here compared to even just a couple of hours ago. This is only halfway. <laughs> I love those kinds of stories. Thanks for that report, Jen. Jen Danzek with that aspect of the story for us. Thank you, Jen. Jen, thank you for that information. Uh, sad story there tonight. Jen, that was just a beautiful story. 21 Alive's Jen Danzek joins us now with an inside scoop on tonight's episode of The Bachelor. Jen. Well, the ever popular ABC show has a little more pull for folks in our area this season as The Bachelor's leading hunk is from Warsaw. Ben Higgins came back to his hometown during tonight's episode, and while the cameras were rolling for the show, so were ours. Tonight on The Bachelor. I'm looking for somebody that can come back to Warsaw, Indiana and enjoy simple life, but also go to LA and live in a mansion and enjoy that as well. Bachelor Ben is back. Honestly? I do love you. It's such an awesome feeling to be back home. From being known as Ben H, the second runner-up last season on The Bachelorette with Caitlin Bristow, to being the man everyone wants to marry on The Bachelor, Warsaw's Ben Higgins gets another shot at love on the show's 20th season. It's very surreal that I'm halfway through this process. We started in the mansion, we've traveled all over the world, and now to be back at home um, just helps me take a step back and relax and feel comfortable. Our cameras were rolling as the Winona Lake native filmed an episode of his real life love story in his hometown for the popular yet emotional network show. I could see like a light with you, which is like terrifying. The Bachelor takes 25 year old flight attendant Lauren Bushnell, known as Lauren B, on a one on one hometown date to a place familiar to the 28 year old hunk. Baker's Youth Club is a place that I've always cared about. I used to work here. And so today, as we came back into Warsaw, I wanted to take Lauren to a place that has meant a lot to me. You know, I've had like a handful of kids to hang out with and play with, but never like a gymnasium full <laughs> of kids ready to like go play basketball and four square and jump rope and stuff. So I was a little nervous, but the minute they came over and grabbed my hand and pulled me into whatever game they wanted to play, it was like from there on out, it was just so much fun. But beyond the world travels and incredible dates, Higgins hopes the process of writing his forever love story on the airwaves will hit home for others. I'm hoping that America can watch this and say, yeah, you know what, a man can cry, um, a man can express his feelings, a man can try really hard to find love and search for that love. And I'm hoping men everywhere can relate with that and say, okay, I can stop being so closed up. I can actually start speaking my feelings. I can actually start trying to work out relationships. I'm hoping America can relate with my love story. How can I not sit here and just look at you and just feel like you're, you're incredible. Relate to the hometown man searching for his bride while never forgetting his roots in the Hoosier state. Yeah, I felt very much myself through this process, but it's had a lot of ups and downs emotionally. And coming back home just kind of recenters everything and rebalances everything. It's all coming up tonight on The Bachelor.